So, just a little background on the sustain on our recycling and basically sustainability. And in 2009, that well, okay, let me say that slide was for a presentation. Y'all know all this stuff about me. Yeah, but in 2009, my colleague Jackie and I, we um, she's over the housekeepers and I'm over the warehouse, and so for moving. It's just overwhelming the amount of stuff we get, and it had just like taken over our lives. And so we couldn't provide customer service to our students because my people and her people spend all their time dragging cardboard out of the building. So we came up with this idea that maybe we could do uh, cardboard in 2009. And so we, uh, at that time, Green Queens had just started business, so we had contacted them, and they. Um, so we contracted with them to pick up just cardboard. They hired the people, they did the whole thing. All we did was provide them the cardboard. So that first year, we collected 12 tons of cardboard. Um, in like, we used cotton trailers and hammered poster posters to try and get the students to, to recycle the cardboard. Um, and through that, through that year, we kind of added a little bit of few bins and some buildings and collected some plastic. And over the years, we now collect plastic, paper, and phone, and cardboard. I am maybe I'm um, We collected 25 tons this past year. Each year in phone, we get about almost 300 cubic yards of foam. So that's like two football fields, four inches deep or something. So um, it's a lot of foam. Um, the, the first couple of years we hired people and then we started to get smart and figured out we don't need to be paying these people ten thousand dollars to do this. We can we can do this. So we did it. Jackie and I ran, organized it and we hired temps. And then we figured out students are the best labor. <laughs> so uh, there's a thing called Howdy Texas for housing. And let me go back to the beginning. This is all done by housing. This is not by, done by the university. Student housing does this. We are lucky we have a director who believes in this and thinks it's the right thing. So it's kind of, you do it and then you don't pay for it. So it's, it's great. But we have County Texans and they use them to read the students when they come in and to help. And they always have more applicants that they could use. And we're like, well, we could use them. So, we get those now in an application that says if you're interested in sustainability, you, you apply for our R3, River Recyclers, or you do Hockey Texan. So but that's what we've been using since then. It's free labor, and it's, it's a really good way to get the students engaged and get them on board with what we're doing. They, uh, we hire students at our operation to sort. So a lot of our students, employees come from those students that help us move in, but our hope is for them to figure out how important recycling is, and then they tell their peers in the halls, and we, we brainwash them as we can. We tell them that's how we do it. So, and as you can see, the very first year we did 39 tons, and this past year we did 503 tons. Yeah, we, and, and we just kind of got smarter. I mean, um, you know, we do a lot of construction during the, during the year and during the summer, and the contractors have always taken that. Well, I was like, well, that's stupid. That's, that's ours. That's copper. That's brass. That's a lot of weight and a lot of valuable materials. So now we collect that during our construction, and we're trying to get operations on board to let us provide the bins so that we can get the money from that as well. That's really where a lot of the money comes from from scholarships. And when we first started, the, our main goal was to try and get bins in all halls. We did that in 2011. And if you've been to our residence halls, there's bins everywhere. You can't go in the hall and not to accept them. Sorry to say, it's not the same way in the energy buildings. But and then we opened it up to the community. We, um, we put that roadblock in the city to that in a minute. You know, we get a lot of calls of, I want to mess with the way the city does it. We can let it off the pass. We don't do that, so we opened it up to them. And we also, we're an auxiliary department, so all of our auxiliary departments partner with us. We pick up all of their recycling, it doesn't go through our 
organizations. We do have you know, private services, grant center, uh, hospitality. And uh, we have bins behind all the red the dining halls where we collect their tin and their plastic and all of that. And their, their cardboard, their dumpsters back there. Operations does pick up those dumpsters full of cardboard and take it to the rent for us. And when we first started this, we started out with those little white bins. We had like two, and then we had four, and then we had six. Yes. <laughs> so we um, we bought that roll off, that big red roll off, and we started out with one cardboard dumpster. Now we have five cardboard dumpsters back here. Um, and the glass, we filled three of those bags probably on the weekend almost. It's amazing. Um, and another thing that we really wanted to do is to get buy in from our students in the halls and also our staff. And this was like a life changer for our housekeepers. You know, they used to just pick up the trash. My guys used to just pick up the trash. So we had to convince them that it's the same thing. It's just now one that's good stuff and one's trash. And so part of that was we created this pledge. And it's not just about recycling. We try and get them, you know, to take short showers, turn on computers. And so we got that online. And I still get pledges probably one or two every day from students in the halls and they go to our website and they see it in there so they sign it. And we did it with all of our, our staff and when they did it, you fill out a sticker and you stuck it on that sign and then you got a t-shirt. And that's our department. So every Wednesday, our department wears green shirts and just kind of let people know what we're doing. And our staff, especially the housekeepers, love they just wear something besides their uniform. Um, like I said, part of our goal is trying to get kids in home halls. We've been working with SGA a lot on different programs. We're trying to encourage them to figure out a way to get money to pay for this. Is it through We're getting out of our bins. Um, we have to get approval from Grant from Graham to put these bins out, but. Um, RHA, the Civil Association, has come up with some money. They got about twenty thousand dollars that we're going to be able to spend in the next few months to get outdoor bins at all of our halls. Because when we did this uh, scholarship, one of the questions is, what could tech do to be more sustainable? And almost all of them say we need more bins outside on campus. So that is one of our goals, and this will be coming up this summer. <coughs> this allergy thing. Uh, a couple of years ago, we applied for a, a bid grant from Coca Cola and got it. I apologize. So we use those bids to, if you're having an event on campus, we can lend you those bids. And we're trying to get it where it's a requirement you have to. Recycle if you have them down on campus, but we have those bins available. So if you happen to have, if you if you happen to have a you know a, you know organization that's having a bin on campus, a walk or a run or whatever, we have the bins available. We'll deliver them. We'll pick them up. We just need you to clean the plastic. So we want water bottles out there. So another thing we've done to try and engage. Our students and really the whole campus uh, is Recycle Mania. It's a national event that is put on by King America Beautiful. And there's about 300 universities around the country that participate. So we don't think we've done too bad. Our whole goal is to just not be last. <laughs> so we haven't been like last. But um, so we're in that right now. It goes February 4th to April. So you'll see it around campus. Um, tomorrow, Matt will be at the set of the free speech area giving out bags. And we'll ask the students to bring those bags back. They're reusable bags. They'll bring those bags back full. And next week, they'll get a free t shirt. Free t shirts and food or great yeah. things. <laughs> uh, we also, just this past week, we did game day at the Kansas game. And the whole, again, the idea is to get out there and let people know what's happening. So we did that and we um, swept the arena afterwards and picked up all the recycling, including the little magnet bricks and the 
exhaustion cards and all the plastic bottles. They don't have a wage yet, but plastic doesn't weigh a whole lot, so it's usually separate our panels, but it's separate our panels that we move trash. We have an electronic drive. Last year was the first one we did. We collected over 14,000 pounds of old computers, TVs, printers, um, and we were going to do that again on the first of our groups and then set up for us. So. <laughs> Not sure what we're going to do about that, but we still take them in our building. You don't have to, you don't have to get them to drive. So it's amazing when we come back on the weekends and see like their TVs as big as that pool table and uh, printers. And so you have a lot of old stuff, we'll take that. We also, um, we take, we take uh, printer cartridges as well. So. If you have printer cartridges, you can contact me at housing.green at and we'll, we'll pick those up or you can bring them to us. Um, part of the student involvement, like I said, is we'll hand out those t shirts. We try to make very visible in the free speech area just to let the kids know what's happening. And like I said, free t shirts usually gets their attention. We, I will fill up probably six or eight of those cards every time we do this. We ended up picking out 250 shirts. And we just try to educate and motivate. We beat UT twice. That was cool. <laughs> it's the, the thing about this at the is per capita. So the schools that win that are usually small schools. It's a lot easier to control 7,000 people than 35,000 people. Um, but when we do it by the real weight, which is your actual weights, we're, we're ranked fairly consistent. Um, our housekeepers get really involved. That's, those are in some of the halls during the summer menu. They decorate just to again draw attention. That's us at the sub one day. Marketing, our marketing department works really hard to create things that are very eye catching. And We'll get their attention. And then we put them all over campus, not just in our residence halls, so we put them in all the needs of buildings too. So this is the baby. Um, uh, we were collecting this money for two or three years, and then we were like, it's just going back into the general fund. So uh, Jackie and I tried to figure out something we could do to give it back and then research on scholarships and found out that yes, we could do the scholarship. So the first year we gave out ten thousand dollars, and it was all on campus. This year we were given forty thousand dollars, and twenty-five of it is for people who live on campus, and fifteen is off campus. And it also includes grad students. So um, we're pretty excited about it. And we had a student last year; she ended up in R three. But oh, I, I didn't know this that you know if you get a thousand dollars scholarship, you get this institution. Well, she was from Colorado. So she's like, my, my thousand dollars is worth a whole lot more money than a thousand dollars. So we're, we're pretty proud that we're able to do that. Um, and we went live last week and I already have about 20 applications. So it's the words getting out there. If we know any students, be sure to share this opportunity with them. And that's all. Awesome.